Hello everybody and welcome to my channel and my 2004 Mazda Speed Miata. I recently purchased it for just over five grand. Uh, today I'm just gonna talk over the setup that's currently on the car, how it came, what the previous owner did, and then we're gonna be removing the dash because I'm going to wrap it in suede. So let's start off with the exterior. The car, like I said, had its flaws mainly from the outside so as you can see here it does not have the Mazda Speed front lip I'm not sure on the story but I'm gonna go ahead and assume that at one point it was in a front end collision uh, which is why they uh, swapped out the bumper for this uh, MB2 as you can see the paint doesn't match and it actually has a lot of orange peel I did check the radiator support and all the uh, under uh, body frame and it looks to be like in pretty like, good condition nothing no bends or, or, or tweaks to the frame which is good uh, it means it was just uh, cosmetic all right moving around on the right side of the car this is where it has most of the like body damage uh, it has a dent here if you can see there here and it has it's sunken in here somewhere I don't know if it's noticeable there it is I think the worst part is up here it has one two three indents on this pillar here and actually when I got the car it wouldn't pass uh, the safety inspection because the windshield was cracked uh, it does have small small stuff little uh, things here and there uh, this spot and on top of the fact that it the paint is actually starting to uh, oxidize and come off in most uh, most of the car the the paint is not the is not the the, the titanium gray that comes with the Mazda speeds and I can tell mainly if you can see here that's the the stock color color there Sorry, it's all dirty and then you see the difference there and that's just where the trunk would sit and they just kind of pin it over it it again just peeling oxidizing it does have the rear Mazda speed lip uh, which uh, I didn't, I wasn't a big fan of to begin with, but uh, it's kind of starting to grow on me. I do have a GV style front lip. I like that, and then if not, I'll, I'll throw a uh, Mazda OE lip on there. I got the, the car during the rainy season here in uh, North Carolina. So I bought this kit from Amazon. Came with the adhesive and like, like actual needle, thread, and gloves, everything, everything really you needed to uh, patch up a hole. Uh, it's worked incredibly well. Uh, I have, haven't had any leaks. It's sealed completely. I've taken the top down uh, many times and it doesn't seem like it's coming off. So I'm happy about that. Not the best look, but it's, it's working uh, as intended. The top, other than that, is missing the, the wires, which I do have, and it seems to me that it was sitting under a, a pine tree for a long time, and it got a lot of uh, tree sap. I've uh, washed it a couple times already, uh, and it has not, I haven't been able to uh, get that off. So if you have any way of really like getting rid of all this like sticky stuff, uh, just uh, leave a comment uh, below and uh, I'll try that out. All right, engine and uh, performance. Obviously, this is the Mazda Speed Miata, if you're not familiar with them. They came stock from the factory with a uh, 1.8 turbo uh, inline four. This one runs about nine pounds boost, and I think that's stock because I don't have a manual boost controller hooked up. It does have a few uh, fine Miata bits, to include the, the intake here, it has the charge pipes, the hot side as, as well as the cold side for, for the turbo, as well as the Turbo Smart 
uh, blow off valve. However, it does not have the FM intercooler. Instead, it has like a cheap eBay JDM Sport. And I'm not familiar with the brand, so if you have some experience with them, it uh, seems to be working fine, no leaks or anything, uh, but uh, I don't have a air intake uh, temperature gauge, so I'm not sure how efficient it is. However, the car seems to pull fine. It does have its little issues, and which I'll talk about. The car also did come with the this uh, two inch, two and a half inch uh, downpipe. I believe it's a Megan Racing piece. Uh, it did have uh, a big crack here that I uh, fixed. Uh, but other than that, as far as performance, uh, that's really all that's been done to, to the car. The bigger intercooler, charge pipes, blow valve, intake, uh, and then the, the down pipe. As far as cooling, it does ha seem to have a stage one Vi Miata cooling uh, shroud and fans, but they did not change the radiator, which I think it's, it's kind of weird that you would upgrade the fans but not the radiator. The radiator does seem to be in good condition. I did change the hose for the top, which now uh, in uh, hindsight, it was kind of a waste of money because I did end up getting a uh, coolant reroute kit from Super Miata. All right, as far as suspension uh, goes, the car came with the stock Mazda Speed Bilstein shocks, the higher spring rate springs uh, from the factory. It has the stock Mazda Speed Miata sway bars, and it came with these uh, 249. Sorry, 949. 949 Racing, six ULs, uh, 15 by eight. And it does have the sport brakes that came with the later model NB2s, I believe, came with uh, all the sport brakes. I also did replace the master cylinder, uh, clutch master cylinder, because it was leaking and i went ahead and did it, the 5x racing full line kit and it just comes with the line it goes from the the master cylinder all the way to to the slate okay last bit i would like to talk about is the interior uh as you can see uh there it does have a sparkle sprint seat that did not come with the car i installed that uh when i got it okay so As you can see, the, the the dash is is cracked. So the previous owner made the the really dumb decision to mount one of those suction cup uh, pieces to mount like your phone or or camera or whatever it was they had mounted on here. But what it did with the heat, it uh, cracked the dash. So now. That's the reason I'm, I'm, I'm pulling it out. I was gonna replace the, the dash with another black dash, but the two yards of suede that I bought from Amazon, as well as the, 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 the glue itself was like, all together was like less than $30. The steering wheel has seen <laughs> better days. It is completely trashed. Like it's coming apart. Uh, it's, it's just bad. Uh, it's rotted and just old. It did come with this um, aftermarket shift knob, which I'm not a fan of, uh, mainly because in the summer here in North Carolina, it is miserable when this thing gets hot and I sit in the vehicle and I can't even put, take it out of gear. Uh, so this will be replaced as well. So uh, I'm now going to kind of start prepping the interior removing the seats and getting ready to pull the dash <sighs> that might be for another episode really now that i think about it uh it, this run ran a little longer than i expected it to so 
I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, please give me a like. Uh, and uh, if you want to see the progress on this bad boy, uh, subscribe. Anyway, uh, thanks for dropping by. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Ah!